Hello. I'm language enthusiast. I'm Wendy. I'm on my way to the usual、uh, trimming salon to have my dog's teeth brushed. Okay? I always go there to have my dog's teeth brushed and two or three times a week. Okay, am I ready? Ah, yes, there is something I have to do. I have to. I have. I brought, okay, I brought a cable for my iPhone to char- recharge and I put the, this part into this part and to connect my iPhone so that、um, my batteries. Are always good. Okay, now I'm backing, backing up my car. Okay, paying attention to people. Oh my goodness. People walking、uh, behind my car. And now my car started moving. Driving. Okay,、uh, these days people are staring at their phones while walking, right? I think it's very, very dangerous, and I don't like them to stare at their phones while walking because、uh, I feel this way not just as a driver but also a pedestrian. Myself because I often come across people uh, walking uh, in front of me,、uh, walking toward my direction, but they are staring at their phone while walking, and I it seems to me that I'm the only one who should be careful about、uh, what's going on. Right? The, because the other person、uh, coming toward my direction is staring at his or her phone, and he or she doesn't seem to be paying any attention to the surrounding, right?、Uh, no matter how young you are, no matter how, I don't know, astute. You are, it's very difficult to pay attention to your surroundings while、uh, staring at your phone. I think so.、Uh, like, so. Like, so many people are listening to music while walking or even、uh, on their bicycle. Not bike, not motorbike, but. They are listening to music or something, anything. It might be their target language. They might be learning their foreign languages. I don't know, but they are wear- wearing their earphones or headphones.、Uh, some people even wear headphones, right? While walking.、Um, I think they are both the same almost because. They cover the entire ears, right? It's not good because I'm also wearing my earphones from time to time at home.、Uh, but in this way,、uh, even if my daughter speaks to me, I can't listen to her voice very much. And so, but in the house,、uh, it's、uh, much safer. But outside, I think it's really, really dangerous because you cannot hear all the noises, all the、uh, sounds, right?、Uh, you don't know much about what's happening around you. It's very dangerous out- outside, and you should be responsible for your safety. But、uh, just as I said,、uh, whenever I come across Uh, people coming toward my direction wearing 
a headset or staring at their phones. Um, it seems to me that I'm the only person who should be responsible for my safety and their safety as well because as I said no matter how young you are uh, probably it, it would be very difficult for you to be aware of uh, all the things that are happening around you so uh, I actually hate the kind of irresponsible inconsiderate people so that is why I I really want to wear my earphones while walking my dogs and I sometimes actually did and sometimes I will or I might but I only wear my earphone on my red no right ear right ear because a uh, long time ago yeah because of my because of some um, safety safety reasons okay um, only covering one ear is much safer than covering the your entire ears both ears that's what I think and another reason um, for me wearing a earphone only on is it okay on or in my right ear is that it is the language ear I don't know why but I used to uh, I believed this for such a long time and long time ago someone said that when you learn a foreign language and you what if you wear headphones uh, you should wear um, it on your right ear and I'm not sure uh, it can be said to everybody because some people are left-handed right-handed and others are left-handed right and how their brains work varies depending on the person right um, probably um, what he, that person said has something to do with uh, your brain like uh, um, when you study foreign languages you can use either your left side of the brain or uh, right side of the brain I don't know which but uh, it is something to do with um, your brain okay uh, the side of the brain that you use the most when normally studying foreign languages or languages okay uh, I don't know which uh, I don't know much about it but Goraka said uh, Goro is very distracting while I'm driving because he always stands up to look outside because he loves to see what's going on outside he's a very curious boy and but he's a bit restless and he's the one uh, who well, which barks the most okay he even barks at my daughter living in in the same house and I don't know what's going on what makes him bark at my daughter my daughter sometimes plays with them but she's allergic a allergic allergic to dogs and it, even cats but uh, she was the one who took care of our two dogs uh, which passed away last year back to back is that uh, last year or yeah last year and yeah the year 2002 and the year 2003 uh, and they lived until they were nine, 18 and 19 Gorka sit okay good boy he's a good boy today but he stands up so he's not such a good boy 
okay uh, our cats um, they were strays I um, picked them up one day someone brought them to my house because uh, we already had five no 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 uh, yes five dogs uh, no no five cats already and I used to have six dogs right I tend to have more and more this is very typical of me right my cats right I used to have seven cats I was living in an apartment complex it was public complex but uh, someone who was in charge of the apartment uh, building okay had also uh, some dogs and cats him uh, themselves uh, they are old couple and uh, since they had their own pets several pets so we were allowed to have pets in our apartment complex and at first my daughter uh, uh, brought a kitten okay um, and then the next cat the next cat was abandoned she was also a stray she was a black cat and she was still a kitten and uh, she was there in our in the garden of our apartment complex uh, there's this uh, garden not garden it's a park okay between each uh, apartment complex building and I pick it up and this that is the second cat and third one yeah I happened to find a cat while I was working as a very early morning driver and then uh, every day I saw a cat and she was pregnant okay pregnant cat and one day uh, she get she gave birth to her kittens and one of them okay she was a black and white cat but uh, and she had um, I don't know milking is it okay nursing okay she was nursing her kittens and I think that that night uh, I mean very early morning uh, it was still dark outside and I happened to find her nursing her kittens um, one of the corners of the supermarket that I already uh, delivered uh, pack pack package of boxes of rice too okay and the, but one of the kittens which was black uh, was abandoned and I tried to um, try to I don't know um, have it and try to um, put it next to her but she was ignorant of the kitten only one kitten okay but she was nursing others and I found it uh, very sad and I decided to have it home bring it home and uh, that is the third one and fourth and fifth okay uh, soon um, probably the next summer okay probably the next summer okay we are almost at the trimming salon now I'm turning to right to enter the parking lot and my dog is going to bark soon so I'm gonna finish my recording and after I come back I'm going to talk about this again okay about fourth dog oh uh, no no fourth about fourth cat okay I'll be back soon I'm back okay I'm going to 
Um, I'm going to turn on the engine. Okay. I'm going to turn on the engine and open the mirror. I don't, unfold the mirror. Unfold the mirror. I fold the mirror. No, I'm folding the mirror. Okay, I'm backing up. Backing up. Okay. Staring? I don't know. Staring the steering wheel. Steering wheel. And I'm turning to the right so that I can get out of the parking lot of the trimming salon. And I have to be careful. If uh, there's any cars coming, when I, oh my goodness, this is Papian. This is a Papian. Okay. Well, that dog just looks like Goro because Goro is a Pomeranian and the Papian mix. Pomeranian and Papian. Papian mix. Okay. And. Uh, Getting back to my uh, story about my cats. Okay. Where was I actually? I talked about my third cat, right? Uh, it's a black cat named, well, what's the name of the, okay. Okay, Cheetah, okay. Uh, and that's a boy, okay, that's a boy, Cheetah. And Fourth and the fifth are siblings, okay, and they they were also strays. And my daughters found them, okay, found them, and uh, at a park in front of our apartment complex, okay. The uh, park I was talking about until a little while ago was another park. There are many parks, okay, around my apartment complexes. There are two buildings, actually. And one park is uh, between each building. And the other one is the park outside of our precinct. Is it okay? Precinct or uh, our, I don't know, area? It's a small area with two quite large apartment buildings okay and uh, there is a park inside the uh, section and the other park is just outside which is much bigger one and that's where my daughters found uh, fourth my fourth fourth and the fifth um, cats Okay, they were very little, um, but they were not as uh, small as the fourth, no, third one I happened to find. It's just a kitten, which was just born from the mother, but it was um, abandoned because mother didn't want to raise him, only him, okay? He's unfortunate, but... He is fortunate uh, because he was spotted by me, right? And since I'm crazy, I was crazy back then. I was even crazier. So I decided to brought him back home, right? And usually people don't uh, bring a kitten back home uh, while they were, they were still working, right? But my job was pretty flexible and I was a driver and I was able to stop by my house whenever, when not whenever, but um, when the situation was okay, when the situation allowed me to do so, okay? It was a, per it was a perfect job for me as a single mother, single mom, because I had three daughters, and every time I had to visit their school, like visiting days or sports days or 
athletic event or any kinds of events, I can. I was able to uh, go to their school. Um, so I never miss the opportunity. Miss um, or I never missed such opportunities. Okay, and so that was a perfect job for me. And I was fortunate. I was very fortunate. Okay. And where was I? Yeah, my daughters, some of my daughters found the fourth and the fifth kittens. Okay, they were siblings. And they were sick, actually. Um, their faces were very messy because, because of some bacteria or something, germs, I don't know, but um, they really uh, needed to be taken to the vet, okay, not bed, but vet, okay, and I decided to keep them myself, although I already had three kittens at home, right? Uh, one is big, quite big, by the time uh, I decided to keep the fourth and the fifth uh, kittens, okay. The first one um, grew pretty much, okay, uh, because animals um, becomes, animals become adults, grown up, grown ups in six months, right? Very quickly, okay, and okay. But in that particular summer, okay, about uh, 20 years ago, um, I had, I ended up keep four kittens just one t at the same time, almost at the same time, and okay, and I took those two kittens, my fourth and the fifth, to the vet, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one was the last? Which one was the first? I'm confused. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, um, I decided to keep the two kittens. And at the same time, someone brought two kittens, two set of kittens. They were also siblings, okay? And the fifth, sixth and seventh, okay? are the ones that uh, lived until 18 and 19, until the very last, I mean, they were the last ki last cats for us, okay. Uh, they were the last ones to come, and they were the last ones to go, okay. They were the only ones that were left until the very end. Okay, and at that time, the sixth and the seventh ones, okay, named, well, uh, Tora, Tora means tiger, because she just looked like a tiger, so her name is Tora, Tora, Tora in Japanese, okay, and the other one uh, is a boy, male cat, uh, named uh, Momo, Momo means a peach, and because a peach, peaches are pink, right? And his paws, is it okay, paws, a uh, very soft one, soft part of uh, the, um, the foot, okay? Um, back side of their foot, okay, feet. Um, that soft part, the color of that soft part was pink, so I named him Pink or Momo. In Momo is means pink in Japanese. So, all right, Goro, sit. Goroku, sit. He doesn't listen because he's very excited about looking around because there is a park next to my car now. I'm stopping for the signal now, and there's a big park, okay, very big and a with lots of green, 
It's a very good park. And he's looking for any dogs. Okay. He's very attentive. Gorkun, sit. Okay, good boy. He finally listened to me, but he stood up again. I can't believe how he acts. All right, where was I? Yeah. And the two sets of kittens were the last ones. And um, they were quite healthy because um, someone brought them to my house so that I could keep them. And they were strays. And my daughters were, are the, were the own also ones that uh, found those two kittens with someone else. Uh, who is an adult, who is a man, living in the same apartment, okay, and uh, he thought that I could keep them because I already have uh, many cats at home, um, but oh, I was already full, so I didn't know what to do. Uh, it was a very difficult moment for me to decide if I could keep them because I already have five of them five kids five cats including two kittens right and uh, I decided to keep the last two eventually but the problem was that um, my fourth and the fifth were sick right and they have uh, I don't know how to call it um, I don't know, they, are, they had something bad, uh, which could, I don't know how to say this, utsuru in Japanese means, oh, okay, others might catch, okay, others might catch, and eventually, <laughs> eventually, uh, all the cats, okay, including kittens and uh, grown-up one, once probably two of them were already adults back then and all of them caught the disease meaning that in the summer of that particular year i almost spent the entire of my salary to for their i mean expenses I had to take them two or three times, uh, two, say, uh, I mean, twice a day because they have to be treated at the vet, okay? They are contagious, okay, contagious disease, okay? Uh, like they have worms in their bowels and they had diarrhea that was such a mess okay that was a care that was chaos i couldn't believe i went through such a difficult time okay and eventually uh, i had i was living with three daughters and seven cats and it was quite fun to live with my seven cats uh, and especially when they were still young they were very naughty and especially cats are even more naughty than dogs right they can scratches I mean they scratched they scratch right all over the place right and um, they I mean climb all over the place places like on the shelves on the on top of the refrigerator on um, even on the curtain rails uh, am I being understood by saying curtain rails it's a place that uh, we hang, hung, I don't know which, uh, curtains. It's, a, it's made of uh, aluminum or something. It's like a train rails, okay? 
and placed a little above the window so that we can hang uh, curtains. And cats even climb or get on the, those rails. They are like acrobats. Acrobatic. They are very astute. Okay, they're they're very I don't know skillful, right? Okay, anyway, but uh, some of them died. Actually, no, the first one uh, fled. Okay, ran away, ran away. Probably I didn't give her the first one uh, enough affection. I'm so sorry for her. She was stray and she was very, very smart and she was very sensitive. And she must have thought that that was not the place that she could fit in. And she wanted to run away even though she didn't have any place to go. Okay, the second cat um, also ran away many years later and the third cat um, also uh, disappeared suddenly when he was still young like three years four years old he was not old yet but um, all of my male cats had bladder problems or kidney or I don't know which kidney or um, an organ which has something to do with uh, urine okay is it kidney or I don't know there's one more right kidney and uh, liver I think it's kidney right yes kidney problems probably because of uh, the food I kept giving them because at that time I didn't have any knowledge about keeping cats or any animals okay dogs or something and I always bought the cheapest food that was the terrible the most terrible thing we do right the cheapest food have some bad ingredients and that that was the kind that is the kind of food that we should give our pets we should spend much money on their food because the more expensive I believe the food is much better the better it is, I guess, I think, I believe, uh, but at the time, I was, uh, I was stupid, I was inconsiderate, um, yeah, I was dumb, so, uh, because of this, my, all of my female cats had bladder problems, okay, and he also had the uh, problem already and I took him to the vet uh, several times okay and my fourth and fifth cats yeah uh, they lived until they became eight years old but oh uh, no no uh, those were siblings right and male cat was killed um, in an accident, accident or something uh, and uh, she was found dead one day and I didn't know the cause of her death okay I was waiting for some people to uh, across the street across the road okay whoa um, the the play, I mean, uh, this small space be, 
uh, next to my house. Um, I arrived my my house door uh, is has a lot of weed, so I have to take them out. Okay, anyway. Okay, that's about about that's all about my cats, and I couldn't talk about them. I couldn't talk everything about them, uh, but I'll talk about them some other time because. Now we are at home. Okay, thank you for listening. I'm going to talk about my cat some other time. So if you are a cat lover,、um, please look forward to it. It's a long story, but it's not a very happy story. So I hope you don't expect too much about this. Okay,、uh, some tragedies、uh, included. Okay, thank you very much. I really hope that you have a, a lovely,、uh, refreshing new week tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.